I'm Natalia Gadilla. I'm a Caucasian woman with long blonde hair, and I go by she, her. I'm a product marketing lead here at Microsoft and co-host of the podcast Security Unlocked with this guy. Yes, that would be me. Hello, everyone. I'm Nick Fillingham. I'm a Caucasian man with glasses and a beard. I go by he, him, and I'm a security evangelist here at Microsoft. I've seen the clip. I've even seen the clip where she's talking about where the land is originally from. It's just so, like, if you, those are the things that are going to quantify you as a human being, the color of your hair and your gender as your description. Like, I'd be like, Hi, I'm Samita Armstrong. I'm a badass. I, you know, like escaped. I was just like made so much more out of my existence than what I was arbitrarily born into the color of my skin and my hair, which also changes. So it's just bizarre. And like, does anyone else in Microsoft like look at each other and give each other side eye when they watch this? Or are they just like, yeah, okay, cool. This is it now. This is how it is, I think. I think this is the, the thing to do. If you're immersed in that, like they wouldn't even allow the guy, uh, James Damore, the whistleblower from Google, to say that there are differences between men and women inherently. They wouldn't even allow that. So I doubt that, the, like, it is really weird that they mentioned, like, their hair. Maybe that was their way to, like, poke but, fun at it. But, but the guy had a mohawk and he didn't mention that. <laughs> he, he said is, beard. Are they talking? Are they talking on behalf of people who can actually see to sort of establish a, a visual? Mm, maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's Which the still attempt means there. He should have mentioned the mohawk that he's wearing. That was, I think, the defining quality True. of that weirdo, and he didn't mention the mohawk. So <laughs> I, I, I think I found the other part. I think Nor I found did the you other part. That and I'll he download was a weirdo, it. which is really <laughs> shallow of himself. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. I feel like maybe we should be doing this every time. A land like the thing about the land acknowledgement is, where do you cut that off? Otherwise, you should be mentioning things for what the pa however many thousands of years the current place that you live has been claimed by people. That's a really right. long list. Like, I'm gonna yeah. go with like, do you go by the government that owned it? Do you go by the country name? Like, how do you determine it? Because it never is. Um, never been that simple and i feel like depending on your country like australia wouldn't it would be like three things wouldn't it i don't know <laughs> and then also if you think about it like the land really could have possibly started with the grays and humans took over so it could be alien territory for all i was know. gonna i was gonna ask if that was an alien reference so i'm very impressed that you're using oh. you know the grays the tall whites <laughs> The Draconans. Eric's more of a lizard people guy, I feel. <laughs> Anunnaki type of stuff, you know, yeah. The lizard oh, okay, folks. yes. Hello and welcome to Microsoft Ignite. We've got a big day ahead and lots in store for you. First, we want to acknowledge that the land where the Microsoft campus is situated was traditionally occupied by the Sammamish, the Duwamish, the Snoqualmie, the Suquamish, the Muckleshoot, the Snohomish, the Tulalip, and other Coast Salish peoples since time immemorial. A people that are still here, continuing to honor and bring to light their ancient heritage. My name is Allison Wines. I'm a senior program manager in our developer tools division. I'm an Asian and white female with dark brown hair wearing a red sleeveless top. I think in time memoriam. They're politely establishing their the gangs they're associated with. She was clearly a blood, <laughs> and he was a crip, depending on their shirt colors. I don't understand why. Why are they? Do it has to be for the visually impaired. 